In part three, I wanted to re-examine the 1920s underground map for the Creighton Coal Works. Now this particular map was introduced in part two. And there was one very interesting feature that was not mentioned in that part. Here we see Bailey's Run Road labeled in the upper left section of the map and PPG labeled in the lower left section. Now remember, this map shows the underground workings, the tunneling systems, the digging areas, the shafts. So very little is actually shown what is on the surface. So what I've done here was to shade in the surface areas. And if you're familiar with this area, we know there are very tall hillsides on each side of Bailey's Run. I have indicated where the mine audit, the mine opening for the Creighton coal mine was located in relation to Freeport Road and PPG. If you look closely, the tipple and the haulage way are indicated on this map. At one time, following the red arrows, we could see that there was tunnels and haulage ways to the upper right section of the map where something crossed the roadway. Here is that same map section showing the tunnel way under the mountain. The map is now clearly showing something running under or over the highway. And again, our simulated mountain showing the tunnel running through the mountain. This right here is the most important section of this map. If you could zoom way down into the circled area, there's words there that state enclosed trestle. What does this mean? The mine tunnel exited the hillside. An enclosed trestle was built above the creek and above the roadway, and the tunnel re entered the opposite side hillside. So the tunnel exits one hillside, crosses the trestle, and re enters the opposite hillside. Just to get a visual idea of what this coal mine trestle may have looked like, seen here is a very old railroad bridge supported by steel trusses. All we need is the decking and the sides to be enclosed. Being enclosed was very important to keep loose coal or other materials from falling through to the ground. Here is our first glimpse of the coal mine trestle. And we can clearly see the support mechanism are steel truss beams. If this is the original trestle as shown on the 1920s map, that makes these ruins nearly 100 years old. Any wooden members that may have been used in the construction of this trestle, such as the enclosure, would have rotted away, fallen to the ground, and decomposed. As an additional find on the hillside, we can also see the old dynamite shed or the blasting caps shed. It would have been one or the other, but certainly not both together. This site is not posted. But my partner and I were given special permission to access and film the location. 
Here we are walking on the old roadway leading up the western slope. The mine entrance, the trestle entrance, is just ahead of us. On our left side, we see an old mine cart rail, a light gauge rail, sticking out of a semi-uprooted tree. There's the rail. You see that? Unfortunately, a number of trees have fallen from above and have covered the mine entrance and have fallen directly on the trestle way. I have managed to work my way to the sealed mine entrance and am standing precariously on the old mine trestle. Being unable to explore further the western hillside due to the slope of the hill and the debris in our paths, we have climbed back down and with the property owner, we have reclimbed the eastern side of the hillside. We can see the sealed former mine opening and the exact spot where the trestle way would have either entered or exited this side of the hill. Curiously enough, on the area above the mine seal, a small cave-in has occurred. From above, we are able to look down into the former tunnel. Not wishing to get too close because of the unstable ground, though it is not in focus, we can see the brickwork of the interior tunnel. We have located a buried rail. And sticking out of the hillside, buried beneath the weeds, we see the steel truss member that would have formed the trestle way across the creek and the highway to the opposite hill. And there is the other end of the trestle way, which would have led into the mine opening. 